Ready to lock down your opponent's every move? Today's deck is all about controlling the battlefield with Madame Webb, Cosmo, and Jean Grey. Let's see how they completely shut down your opponent's strategy. Madame Webb's ability is ongoing. You can move one of your other cards away from here each turn. When you pair her with Cosmo, that means your opponent can't do on reveals in her lane and potentially another lane if you move Cosmo out of Madame Webb's lane. Why would they play into that lane? Because of Jean Grey. That is your ideal play line. You have Madame Webb into Jean Grey, into Cosmo, and then on the last turn, especially if your opponent fills up their side of the lane, you can now move Cosmo to a different lane and shut down more of their on reveals. The other control card we have is Goose, who can also be used in a similar fashion to Cosmo, especially against larger costed card decks. With all of these ongoing cards, we have Spectrum, and she buffs Ant-Man, quack quack, Mojo, who can often get his bonus, especially in the Jean Grey lane, Armor, to shut down any destroy nonsense, Luke Cage, which hard counters Affliction decks and also works with Man-Thing. Now, Luke Cage is kind of optional, especially if you have Spectrum, because Spectrum buffs your cards by two, effectively erasing Man-Thing's negative affliction for your cards. And we end with Claw. Yeah, I'll send you the SoundCloud link if you like. Who is always a nice surprise for your opponent. The cards that just barely didn't make the cut were the package of War Machine and Ebony Maw. If you want to try those out, please do. My personal choice would be to replace Man-Thing and Luke Cage. But otherwise, this deck is fantastic. Look who it is. We have all eyes on him, Tupac. In turn, we do have Madame Webb, but do we just throw her into Gamma? <laughs> Turn her into a Hulk. Murder World, I mean, I guess, but hold Madame Webb? I might be able to move her out. Seven cards, seven cards, okay. We have Spectrum. I think I just throw Luke Cage, and then next turn is... Okay, they are a destroy deck. Do I get Cosmo down now? Are they gonna Shawn me? I'm so afraid they're gonna Shawn me. So I won't snap because I'm afraid of the Sean. If they don't Sean me now, I can try to snipe a lane with Cosmo. They do not. X-23 and Deathlock, so on turn five, they have priority. I will slide one of the hulks away and I will play, what's my next turn? Armor. We are going up against destroy. It is nice that armor decided to stay hidden in my deck. I will go Cosmo and Ant-Man? Question mark. Okay. And then we will, we have priority. So do I armor instead? I think I armor and man thing instead. If they have a Tuma, Venom, none of those matter, Cosmos left. So I should be good with this line instead of the Spectrum line. Let's see if I am correct. <laughs> I am correct. I didn't run the math, but we we pulled it out. I was constantly afraid to snap. I really shouldn't have been. I was super well positioned, and we pulled this one out. Okay, next up we have Axe.Zo. Ant-Man down, Sanctum Sanctorum on the left is annoying. We do have Claw on the deck, but Claw cannot reach to that side. We will get 
Oh, Madame Webb is in the building. I will hold one more time. That is a perfect Cosmo lane. Now, only if I could... Yeah, we're snapping this up. And we are just moving cards in and out of lanes. It's, it's kind of risky. And this also could be a Living Tribunal deck. <laughs> so there is some additional risk there. With Goose Middle, though, they actually can't play the Living Tribunal line. Move Howard here. Play Luke Cage Middle. What? I wonder what this is. Because again, Goose can't... Goose doesn't allow for uh, high-powered cards. Uh, let's see. Luke Cage here. And Mojo here? Question mark? Who's Who am I drawing next? Cosmo. So, uh, yeah. I will be playing Cosmo middle. I can move Goose out, probably. Yeah, and they are just kind of pinned down. Let's move Goose to Luke's bar, because that's less points there, and it's also a one cost, potentially with Killmonger. And we will just play Cosmo middle and call it a day? Let's see what they have. This is why Cosmo's in the deck. This is why Madame Webb's in the deck. These locations really came through. This is a... Ooh! No Ultron. Hmm. I think we lost. Oh no, wait. We definitely won this way. Uh-oh. Patriot. Dazzler. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. It actually would have been better if we would have moved Goose out. Probably. Would it have been? Goose, if I had moved Goose out on turn five, I could have played Spectrum middle. But they also would have played Ultron middle. So I would have still had to go with the Cosmo line. I think this was ultimately the best play. And it clearly didn't matter. They couldn't get into Luke's bar. They could get into Sanctum. I had no clue what deck I was playing, so that was always risky. But Madame Webb, this is a perfect game. She shined bright with these set of locations and a strong showing. Okay, next up we have Ember. Our hand is a little top heavy. Okay, that's a little bit better. They have eight cards in their deck on turn one. I like to get down Howard first if I have a choice between him or Ant-Man. That gives me an option of where I want to fill and if where I want Ant-Man. Good reason, because we have Warrior Falls in the middle. We are drawing into Goose. I will play Madame left. Sunspot makes me think High Evo. And that also makes me think Storm. Get Goose down, who's my next draw? Armor. Goose and Ant-Man here. High Evo it is. So I could get armor down middle. There's Jean Grey for my Goose Lane. I will get Man-Thing down here, actually. Give myself a fighting chance. And then, perfect. Jean Grey and armor. I'm going to snap into this. Jean Grey and armor. If I need to move a card out, I will. 
And now they have to play left. They could soak with Sunspot. Okay, no man thing debuff. Hmm. What is my next card? Mojo would have been next. I can slide out a card. I can slide out Ant Man. I will take it. <laughs> what happened was the Goose and Jean Grey combination. They played a four cost card in Enchantress. They have seven energy. So I think She Hulk is down to three. No, four. She Hulk would be down to two. No, am I doing math wrong? She Hulk would be at four because they played a four cost card, but there was also hope. Uh, I don't know. But, uh, ignore that. Maybe I cut that out. So going into the last turn, the Goose Jean Grey combination really messed them up because they have to play in the Jean Grey lane first. Goose, depending on what they had in their hand, maybe it was just a Hulk and something else. They, well, you can't play the Hulk anymore, especially because you got rid of your two one-cost cards in your deck, Sunspot and Misty Knight. So you can't play the Hulk anymore. You just can't do it. So now your options are to soak with Sunspot. Spectrum's coming down right. So I get up to nine middle. I win right. And I add a bunch of points left. So maybe you can only play something smaller left and something smaller middle that never wins because of the spectrum buff that is why i snapped we were in a fantastic position and this deck can be strong unfortunately i couldn't show the ideal hand with madame webb gene gray and cosmo all in the same lane let me tell you when that happens it is just nirvana you snap on that especially if you're going up against an on reveal deck goose is good against any ongoing decks, uh, Living Tribunal type stuff, Wong. This deck has a lot of good matchups. It can be extremely frustrating to play into, especially with Madame Web being able to move your tech cards around, your proactive tech cards, while you can easily get into and out of different locations. It's a blast to play. It's extremely effective. And let me know what you think. I'd also like to thank all of the members of the channel, everybody that has watched to this end of the video. I thank you, it helps the channel grow and I appreciate all of you. The other thing I will have at the end of the video is I will probably have a couple of bonus clips. There were some uh, funny, amusing things that happened, games that I will tack on at the end, just some quick, quick highlights. I also wanna show some of the Alliance chat, my Alliance that I'm a part of. They saw this deck winning a lot of eight cubes, were asking me a ton of questions about it and were interested in using it. Some of them already had success with it. And I have some of that on there. Pause it if you want to read it. And now to the bonus clips. Okay, next up we have Super Dave Osborne. Great Web is annoying. We will get Ant-Man down there. We will definitely get Madame Web down. They were more annoyed than I was. <laughs> I'm gonna hold on Mojo. Okay, they could not play her middle. Victory. <laughs> the power of Goose and Cosmo. You have two lanes that are Goosed. So you can't play your big cards there. You have Cosmo overlapping and in the other lane. So you can't play your on reveals. This is an annoying game to play. And cue the clip. Rage quit. 